out and found its way at the back of the twine goalkeeper Kwame Osei completely beating powerful precious drive from Donsu and this happens he's proven that he's capable of doing it let him see if he can take it by this time and LJ was there no not the best of kicks you know from the aspects and he says he looks up to is it David Beckham yeah in terms of free <laughs> kicks and it could still have a sign there trying to have a foot to the ball though but AJ was quick and do that effectively that's why Edward Nete is also playing a center back point allies watching ball oh. aside also missing it by inches and uh, well it was a great ball in but Osai just couldn't read the pass quickly. He couldn't run very fast into you know, the six-yard box. He underrated it. Good play there from Frederick Boatin. He's not leading the attack. And that's how come I'm sometimes surprised that he's a club's top scorer. He whipped in across. Good one there. Inviting one. I think he should have thrown himself off to meet that ball. The diving uh, header would have helped him. You know, a little bit lazy. Not quite trying to... Yeah, the ball's moving into the half for Midiaman. There's a foul here. It is Kwame Boyan again. He's the most foul player in the Premier League. VR. With a license to shoot. And he wants to do this one alone as well. Well, you would obviously be on the edge of your seat if you are a fan of Inter Ice. You know, this was a powerful one. Also, Kellen. You know, he's got a lot of power, you know, in his thigh. And his shots missing the goalposts by inches what a precious drive there from Chrissy Donsu well I was just thinking what will be going through the minds of the fans of it's it. on target and Evan Spencer once again twisting and turning and it was Wudu Halik with a perfectly weighted you know cross inside the box it was fizzing you know but that was a disappointing header from Osai. Well, some stuff is there. He hasn't you know, really. Are you it? Shrugging off the ball there. And it's Sule! Oh, that was Sule Mohammed's effort. Well, that's the warning shot from this man that he can score. He has the spirit to do that for entire lives. You know, that was a way to announce his presence. And it was good pressure. And Sule stole the ball. And he fired. Uh, that was with a flash. Moving dangerously. And this time they try to keep and push more men forward. Probably play there. And out of four. Out. Don't shoot. Out. It is Emmanuel Ajiman. Goes on the right. Emmanuel Ajiman can he make it too? Oh. That was close, but what an intelligent play from this young man. You know, he's turning out to be a super sub, and Muntai Tego, you know, can't believe it. What opportunity they have provided the super sub. And Ajma once again went past this man. And he did everything right, but for the connection, Ah Jaglo was completely beaten. He didn't get a full blast of that ball inside the box which into the right places and again you can actually see there's a foul here and that's a freak fans shouting for a goal here a hot shot lifted up and he scores that is sublime it's 1-1 game on they needed it so hard and they have gotten it it is always going to be this man and Inter allies can't afford to celebrate you know we talked about it at halftime remember the discussion we are having you know, when Ahoto gets a free kick close to that spot, he always scores. He's done it twice against Hassel Folk. And goalkeeper disappointed, Daniel Leje disappointed. But you can't fault him. It was well taken. And Ahoto Gokyo, his fourth free kick goal of the season. He's turning out to be an expert. Oh, good free kicks we've seen this season. Let's celebrate him. He scored twice already on television. Thrice, right? Against Hazard. As the reliable centre back. Oh, good play. Nice turn in there from Evans Mensah. And he's doing it so well. Looking for space to shoot. And you can actually see how incredible his runs are. And 
excellent piece of skills there turning and twisting his men Moussi Sapon was completely beaten there he needed some space he created it you know but his shot was feeble uh, couldn't cause problems at all for goalkeeper Daniel J. you know good play there from Evans Mensa. he's done extremely well since coming on I like you know, but he's not really been sharp I would have loved him to contribute more well that's uh, a huge opportunity and that goes down as well free kick penalty decision to be taking is a penalty to Midyama it has been taken and the Germans Muntari Tego and you can actually see the players disagreeing with the call there from the referee and he was sacked from behind and the players think that it was outside the penalty area you know, this was it you know long ball from Kwakwa Bernardo Foy went in you know and you know was the foul outside the box or inside it was Bernardo Foy I think it was outside the box you know it was outside the box very close outside the box you know harsh decision there for Interallies Bismarck upon Bismarck upon saved by Kwame Asai. This Wahab was showing the yellow card, and this was the save. You know, he slowed down a little bit, and also he picked the spot and palmed it away. Disappointment, and Muntari Tego exasperated with that one. So, well, it has been a fantastic performance from both teams. Seven points for Interlice in four games, but two sensational free kicks. One from Kwesi Donsu from Idiama in the first half. And man of the match for today's game. He's really seen his team trying to pick up the three point, but what a save it was. A penalty kick there. It's Michael Paul losing it out and Kwame Ose will be excited to have helped his team not lose in today's game. But for Midyama, they yet to pick up the win in four games. And well, preparing for the African competition. Inter Allies 1, Midyama 1, full-time score here at the Tema Stadium.